What's cracking, yo? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. What's good? What's good? What's good? Digging more into some Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain content. Found a video of an interview done by the great Ahmad Rashad who used to host NBA Inside stuff back in the day. I used to love watching that show on the weekend. Um, and this interview is from 1997, where he's interviewing Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain. Um, shout out to Too Raw for TV, a.k.a. Too Raw for Sports, who uploaded this video years ago. Uh, Too Raw for TV and Too, Too Raw for Sports is my favorite uh, sports talk YouTuber. He's hilarious, he's amazing, and he is a true historian of the game. So go subscribe to his channel and show him some love because uh i've learned a lot from that guy and also enjoy listening to his opinions and takes on present and past nba affairs all right so no further ado let's get into the interview back in the 60s if you went to a barber shop or any place where fans gathered they always debated one question who was better bill russell or wilt chamberlain now, as a fan, I've been contemplating that argument my entire life. There's no way to decide because they were both such great players, and we're honored to have them with us today, Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain. You didn't say that. You distinctly said that you thought that I had the edge. <laughs> <laughs> distinctly said that. Well, I don't remember saying that. Okay, all right. But now, listen, I, when I watched you guys play, it was always built up like you guys were such bitter rivals, not only on the court, but off the court, too. But then I read somewhere that every time you played against each other, you would pick one another up from the airport. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, for some odd reason, it always seems vogue to have, uh, you know, so the adversaries not liking each other. I mean, people think that uh, for a while we didn't really like each other. We didn't just, and they always chose to believe that you cannot... Uh, be as good as we both were apparently doing our thing and we like you i had to be envious of him the only thing i was envious of him was the fact was that people would from time to time call me a loser well you know if i'm a loser then damn near everybody else who was playing was a loser you want to so make why it just personal say you got the losing losing is uh, basketball players in the world and then you got one team that wins it all so i mean i obviously I let me pause that right there. I just want to say that he, he strikes a good point. Even in today's NBA, there's players that constantly get diminished, constantly get bashed by the media for not having won a championship yet. And they make it seem like their legacy and their accolades and their hard work was all for naught. Where there's plenty of other players that are currently in the league that haven't won a championship either. And they don't get talked about in that light. It's one thing I can't stand about the media, man. Can't stand it. They don't keep that same energy for everybody. Oh, if that's your stipulation, if that's the rule, make it across the board. Don't pick and choose who you're gonna who you're gonna talk like that about. He raises a good point. It's in great great company as a loser. What was the toughest thing for you playing against Will? You could not, I could never play him the same way two games in a row because it, it would not work. And so uh, through the whole time we played against each other, every game was different. One of the points that Bill makes is that you played against each other so many times. That's, the that, that's very, uh, uh, very, very correct. We got a chance to really vie against each other, you know. And uh, my approach to... Uh, you know, the Bill Russell situation was a little different than his was to mine, is that I always looked at the fact that we were going against the best team in the world. And going to the Boston Gardens was like, uh, you know, the amphitheaters of the Romans, where the Christians are thrown to the Lions. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to happen to all of the other teams that went to the Boston Gardens, because they were so good, and he was so good that you wanted to be able to do good enough that at least you can come and say, well, at least I got 40. <laughs> <laughs> say, well, at least I got 30. We only lost about 20, but at least I got 40. So I kind of like did, I kind of like did my, my job. I said, you know. So, you know, but I can remember, I used to shoot a hook shot on, on. Yo, Bill Russell's laugh is contagious. This dude just seems like the sweetest, lighthearted guy in the world. <laughs> I love this dude's laugh, man. He's having a good old time. But this is where people's 
you know, start to say, well, Will Chamberlain only cared about his stats and his numbers. But Will's like, listen, man, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out swinging. At least you can say I played my part in the loss, mm, depending on how you look at it. Some people might say you should have been more focused on making your teammates better. And maybe that would achieve more synergy and they would play harder on both ends of the floor if they felt more involved. Mm, could be true. On Bill right here, he would go. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> like I wasn't supposed to take a hook shot yesterday, yeah. or whatever. I said, take about eight more of those, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but but the way that Will shot foul shots, maybe that's where you no, want to no, put no, him no. on the foul line. No, it's not, it's not like as bad as people to have you believe. He could miss half of them and still make 15. <laughs> 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 and then I was once a good free free throw shooter. Unfortunately, you know, my idols, I started watching my he was one of my idols. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, anybody talking about my free throw shoot, oh, that's, I'll take it. I mean, but when it came down to really to the time when you need to put, I could put I should just, You know what I should tell people? <laughs> yeah. Watch them shoot free throws. Then they, they wouldn't watch me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, cute little story. I, I went to a psychiatrist, you know, saying, you know, and uh, for about a month uh, on, my, on my free throw situation. After a month, I, I, I gave it I gave it up. Somebody else paid, paid for the sessions, $50 a session. I won't say it wasn't, you know, and I, after, <laughs> after, after I came out of it for a whole month, I, 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 uh, the psychiatrist was a better free throw shooter than I was. So that's how it happened, you understand? If you were playing today, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. would you fare against today's sentence? <laughs> that I, would be I, dishonest. I, I would think that uh, that'd be a you, know, you see, it's, I'm, I'm I'm happy that I have a big big mouth uh, because uh, <laughs> I can say it's on my own, Bill. It wouldn't be a license to steal. You're right. I would I would like I would love it. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? I mean, it's, it would be a joke. But wait a minute. Yeah. What about against the Elijah ones? He's he's quicker than I am, but I believe I'm faster than he is. Or was at one time. I'm still pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I just don't, I just don't know of any, any center of the day that really. The best players I played against, starting right here, were all back in yesteryear. I mean, you know, you want to talk about Nate Thurman, Will Reed, you know, saying. Uh, you know, well, I, I really am interested. How would you play Shaquille O'Neal? Player like Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, I'm interested in that myself. Well, first of all, if you want me to be serious for a minute. Yes. I would first of all. I would make him play horizontal as much as possible. Plus, I would make him have to run up and down the court all day. I figure if I weigh 240 and he weighs 300, and 40. And if he has to carry that three, <laughs> whatever it is, mm -hmm. up and down every time mm -hmm. at a, a rapid rate, mm -hmm. that uh, the fatigue factor becomes part of it. You know, you take guys out of your comfort comfort zone. I wonder how Bill would, would, would play someone as big and strong and as fast as, uh, as, as Shaquille. And he's right. You know, uh, first of all, you just uh, uh, find the things that he does the worst, and those are the things you try to make him do the most. Explain. So he just answered the question for you. Yeah, I see. I did it in a much shorter, more succinct manner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's far more articulate. Yeah. <laughs> if you were playing today, how many points would you average, you think? In, in what today, right today? now? No, not right now. I mean, because oh, I could beat. get maybe thirty right now, big fella. Oh, I'm trying oh, to tell you. At sixty. But at thirty, I call him at sixty. I could get thirty, but at thirty, I could probably have a sixty or seventy. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, I'm saying game. that, and I'm saying that politely. I'm not trying to just, you know, I'm not trying to dismantle your belief on how great the athlete of, of today is, but the game would best suit me. Believe me, would best suit me. Same with you, Bill. Game. My advantage would be, Defense, that, for example, rebounded. Uh, when the Bulls won the championship this year, they were able to nullify the centers. Mm -hmm. But see, my center position, I played defense more than offense. So they, they, that would not work yeah, on me. You understand what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. Let me he talks long on his points. That's why he's got to your top five players, excluding yourself and excluding Bill. Yeah, well well, okay, uh Larry Bird and uh uh let's see, Larry Bird and I gotta go with Jerry, Oscar, and Elgin, and uh probably Jordan or Magic. Six. You gotta give me six. Six. And yours, Bill? Well, now you said Can I have, I have seven and put put uh, 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 Sir Charles in there. 
So Charles is my favorite. No, color. you get six. Okay, I'll if he's your favorite, he has to replace somebody. Okay, uh, I have to make him replace somebody then. Okay, you six players. I I'll give six? you six players. Yeah, and I can't t can't name him. No. no. Uh, Magic, and Michael. Um, Larry. Um, Baylor, Oscar, and probably. Either Elijah Warren or Pettit. Yo, Bill Walton's laugh is contagious. Contagious. <laughs> but you can see how when asked questions, Wilt, Wilt is a pompous mofo. Wilt is confident. Wilt is pompous. Wilt going to let you know, I, I, I can do this. I, I, I can do that. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. He said, I'd be 30 right now, bro. At my age right now but back in my prime 60 70 and then when bill was posed the same question it was a much more humbling approach and though he said well hey man i wasn't much of an offensive player i wasn't my thing at defense so you know that wasn't going to work against me anyway because i wasn't really trying to exert myself and dominate offensively in the way wilt would so that wouldn't even apply to me but i'm going to be a savage on defense and be able to switch everything one through five as I'm extremely athletic. I'm an Olympian, damn near. I was. But you can just see how their demeanor, how they talk, how they answer questions. One was more very humble, really well thought out and fleshed out. Answers to the responses, more of a think before you speak and Wilt's just spitting it out. Spitting out, oh, let me tell you about what I'm gonna do, boy. I'm that guy. I'm that guy, Will Chamberlain, and I'm going to get mine no matter what, win or loss. I, I can see it. I can see it in the responses, in the conversation, in the banter back and forth. I can see it right there. I'm glad I watched this interview. Uh, I, I, hey, I like that. That was cool as hell. They have good chemistry together. It's almost like a, they're like polar opposite, polar opposites actually as players, very different approach to the game and just their demeanor and their character and how they talked it's, it's oil and vinegar but it, i mean not it's 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 water and it's oil you know what i mean but together i like i like how they uh how they mesh together how they communicate with each other it's 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 a it's a great chemistry if you will of contrasting opposites that's a dope interview Man, that was good. And they had they had some solid top fives. Now you heard at the time, you know, the NBA where it was in ninety seven and then in the in the nineties, he said, Hey, Sir Charles gotta be in my in my top list somewhere too. It tells you how much of a beast Chuck was. Don't worry, y'all, I'll be doing a Chuck uh video here soon, no question about it. Y'all let me know what you think about it. Have you seen this interview before? Do you agree? Do you disagree with me on any of the points I made? Would love to hear your opinion. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and you know, I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.